name is Dr. Simon Baptist and I'm from Vivid Economics and we've been working with the Climate Institute and their partners in developing the Low Carbon Competitiveness Index. This index was first developed uh, three years ago in 2009 where we first tried to rank the G20 economies in terms of their preparation for a low carbon future to see which economies were best placed to deliver prosperity to their citizens in the carbon constrained world that will occur over the coming decades. We've recently prepared an update of the index to see what's changed over the last three years, which countries have gone forwards, which countries have gone backwards, and how the world in general is traveling in terms of its, its preparation to provide prosperity and for countries to remain competitive in the future. The Low Carbon Competitiveness Index is a data-driven and quantitative approach to trying to rank countries and get a measure for how well prepared they are for the coming transition. The idea behind the methodology is to minimise any sort of subjective and qualitative decisions that need to be made over which variables to include and what weightings to give them. Uh, the result of the, the process that we used to analyse the data and select the variables resulted in a total of 19 variables being selected across a total of three categories. The three categories are early preparation, sectoral composition and future prosperity. And the types of variables that are included in the index include things like industrial energy efficiency, the carbon intensity of the electricity sector, the size of air transport, the size of road transport in an economy, and investment in different types of capital, so human capital, natural capital, um, so resources and minerals, and, uh, and physical capital. And, and other measures of, of an economy's capacity to generate future prosperity. And each of these variables is given a weight um, and then together they all combine to give each country a score. Uh, and then we can compare the scores across the G20 economies and see which countries are doing well and which countries are doing less well. Looking at the index over time, we've, we've uh, backcast it back to 1995 as well as calculating it up to the current date. We see that since 2005, um, Australia has retained its position of 16th out of the 19 G20 countries. Um, however, it was the only country whose, uh, whose score went backwards. Every other country moved up, but Australia's score did worsen slightly, although this didn't result in a change in, in its ranking. Uh, Australia has been doing relatively well in terms of its early preparation, but less well in terms of its uh, retention and investment in in natural and physical capital and human capital to, to generate prosperity off into the future. The big motivation behind the index is to think about how much GDP can a country generate per tonne of CO2. In the future, when CO2 is a scarce and limited resource, those countries that can do more for every tonne of CO2 they, they produce are going to be more competitive and are going to be in a better position to generate prosperity and wealth for their citizens and the Low Carbon Competitiveness Index is designed to be forward-looking and to capture how countries are going in preparing for this transition.